What's up everyone, this is Private Mittens, and I'm going to do my pickup video for July of 2019. Um, yeah, it's a lot of double dips, so if anyone that doesn't know, it's when you pick up more than one game that you already have on a different system, or maybe, you know, something like that there. But yeah, a lot of double dips, so meaning I own these games already, maybe on another system, or on the same system for one of the games in particular, but let's get started, shall we? I'm going to start with the PS3 games as it's easier to move from the PS3 games onwards to the rest of it. So I have a collector's edition for PS3, which I'll explain why I have a collector's edition to it. That is... Painkiller, Hell and Damnation. Um, this is a very old school shooter. In fact, it's a remake of uh, a Xbox original and PC game. Uh... And it has a DLC as well. Funny enough, I didn't see that, but whatever. I've completed it, by the way. Uh, it's actually quite good. Um, the collector's edition comes with uh, like soundtrack making of the game, uh, postcards, posters, and an art book, and like a, a thank you letter. There's the back. Um... The voice actor for the main character, by the way, is uh, Son uh, John St. John. So, uh, yeah, that's that's amazing. For anyone that doesn't know, that is the voice actor of Duke Nukem. So, yeah. Uh, paid 45 for this. So, considering the normal game itself was 30 and I thought, well, for an extra 15 I might as well just grab the rest of it. So, yeah. Good game. Um, so, there is, all the PS3 games I have now are part of a buy one, get one free. Oh no, buy two, get one free. And then there's one Wii game that was a part of this, so I'll segue into the Wii after. So, starting with, uh, I'll move that. <laughs> uh, starting with Dynasty Warriors 7. Um, I think I've played this before. I've played one of the sevens as at least because the devil lent me it. Um, this is an American import, but uh, yeah. So this was a part of it. So technically, they're all ten bucks each. So you can just say it's ten bucks. You can work out which one you want to say that are, are free. In fact, actually, I'll say that one's free, and the other one down there is. So yeah, uh, moving on, we have. Dynasty Warriors 6. Um, the only Dynasty Warriors 6 I've played is Strike Force, which is totally different to the main series, so yeah. Um, and there's the back, if you can see that there. 10 bucks as well. Why not? It's coming quite hard to get them games too. So, next we have a game that. I've wanted it with its peripheral and stuff, but I can never find it, and it was a part of the deal, and I thought, oh, fuck it, why not? That is Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. Fucking amazing game, by the way. I have this on PS2 with the guitar, and I, th I think it's one of the best games ever made. Um, trying to play this with a controller on PS3 is, uh, well, uh, very fucking weird. So, I do want the controller, uh, the guitar, and the comes with the USB. Unfortunately, it is not easy to come by. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be hard to hunt, uh, hunt down. So, yeah, 10 bucks for that as well. For anyone that doesn't know, this, to me, has the best soundtrack in any music game ever made, without question. But, uh, yeah, there's the back. I don't think I showed you the back, yeah. <laughs> But, yeah. So, the last, you know, buy two, get one free. Buy two, get one free. So, the other two, well, not the other two, but I'm trying to get rid of the games that I did actually buy, and then the last two are the ones I got free. Unfortunately, there's a reason. This was one of the ones I bought. I uh, actually got free because there was nothing else for me to pick, and I thought, well, fuck it, why not? So, dance on Broadway. Um, yeah. 
I don't I know one two three <laughs> trying to remember which songs I know three f why is that a song in this four five but yeah it's two Disney songs in this huh why but anyway um I could not find anything for free and I thought I don't have it I'll take it I'll probably never fucking play it so yeah there's the song list if you want to pause and have a look but it's nothing to write home about <laughs> so yeah Um, this is the other game I got free, and I don't already have this, this is a double dip game. I think this is the first double dip game I, well, Guitar Hero 3 was as well, but, um, yeah, this is the first double dip game I have besides Guitar Hero 3. That is Dark Souls 2. You know you've got fucking everything at the store when you got to start picking shit like this. Um, I own the collector's edition to this, which mine doesn't actually have a case, it's a steel book. So I actually technically don't own the case version of the game, so I thought, well, fuck it, I'll buy it to have the uh, case version of the game. Well, I'll, I'll get it free, should I say. And, uh, yeah, I picked it. And then, like, when I bought it, the guy goes, oh, have you played Dark Souls 1 before? I'm like, yes. Then he goes, oh, is this your first time getting 2? Two? 2's not very good, isn't it? It's better than fucking Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. And he turns out and goes, no it's not, it's me. I have the Platinum, the Bloodborne. I can tell you now, Dark Souls 2 is a better game. And uh, that surely fucked him up quickly. But uh, yeah, there's the back. It's Dark Souls 2. I think Dark Souls 2 is the third best Souls game. So yeah, so that was free. And moving on to the Wii games, this is the other one that I did actually pick as one of the buys. So that is a game called wheel spin it looks like track mania and i thought well a mixture of wipeout with it um and i thought to myself eh, it's for Wii, you know i've never seen it before let's pick it up so i bought it when i got home and i checked i was like this is done by bethesda <laughs> fuck it i should have got a discount for that because bethesda's shit but uh yeah This was 10 bucks as well, so... <laughs> I just can't believe Bethesda... What they're doing re uh, lately. So, fucking hell was if I hold up the street. Um, trying to hold it where you can't see the light. But yeah, it's... I think it's like a little small indie title. Not indie, but small... Shovelware is the word I was meant to say, because I have not heard that in a fucking while. But uh, yeah... I was gonna fall. Um, so yeah, that was the two get one free. Uh, so as I said, Dark Souls and the Broadway game were free. At least the Broadway game I didn't have Dark Souls. I double dipped for the sheer fact that I needed the case, or I, I, I didn't have the case like that. It was just a steel book. But anyway, moving on for the Wii games. Uh, another game I have which I double dipped is Rayman Origins. Uh, so now I own the Vita, PS3, PS4, 3DS, and Wii. I technically need the Xbox version and the PC, because I think the PC got it, and I have all the versions. <laughs> um, yeah, Rayman Origins, great game. Not as good as its sequel, but it is great nonetheless. Paid 10 bucks for that, which, oddly enough... Wasn't a part of the uh, buy, you know, to get one free, despite being the same price and being a Wii game. They went by the fucking, oh, it's Rayman. Let's not put it in that list. Uh, moving on, another double dip game that is Rayman Raven Rabbit. Devil's probably laughing when he sees this. Uh, I have this on PS2, hence why it's double dipped. I think this is the best party game ever made. And it's utterly fantastic. And when people rip apart the ra rabbits from ruining Rayman, I always say to myself, well, 
two of those games were really good. You can't blame the two games that were good. You can blame the other games, but not the two games. But utterly fantastic. As I said, this is now my second. I actually owned this on Wii years ago when me and Devil used to play it non-stop. In fact, we hardly played the PS2 version. We always played this version. So, yeah. That was 10 bucks. So, once again, not in the fucking deal, but uh, same price on a system that's a part of that deal. But mm. uh, Last game for the Wii I, I owned way back in the day, but I don't own it anymore. So, I bought it. That is Rayman Raven Rabbits 2. The only other good Rayman Raven Rabbits game. Uh, not as good as the first. Still great though. I love the music and I love the mini games. And also you can actually dress as the Mantel soldier from here's which was really funny. Um, so yeah. I actually want to play it again. <laughs> so I might have to dust that Wii off and play it. Uh, this was 15. So yeah. Happy with that. I think I have all of them though. Well, all of them that isn't the handheld versions. So yeah. Moving on. I have one Wii U game. A double dip. <laughs> uh, that is Rayman Legends. I decided I'd pick it up on Wii. Uh, Wii U, sorry. I've said what I've said about this before. One of the greatest platformers ever made. Probably top 10 best Ubisoft games by far. And there's the back. So yeah, I now own this game on every system but the PC and 360. And Xbox One as well. Switch as well, got it as well. Fuck! I want to buy a Switch, I might have to pick it up. Uh, but yeah. Um, paid 10 bucks. Wasn't part of the deal because it's a Wii U game, even though no one buys Wii U games anymore. So, yeah. <sighs> um... Let's do the DS games. So I got two DS games. First we have the Drawn to Life collection, which comes with Drawn the first one I presume, Drawn to Life, and Drawn to Life the next chapter. So uh, I know Drawn to Chapter is on the next chapter, Drawn the Chapter. Uh, I know it's on Wii because I was gonna pick the Wii version up, then I saw this and thought, well I'll get it for DS since the first one's with it. Um didn't pay much, I only paid $15 for it, so pretty cool. I mean, I've never played these games before, so I can't say what they're like. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the other game is a game that I ordered from the UK, and when it arrived, it turns out it was the Yank version, so whatever. Doesn't matter, as it's both uh, DS is multi regional, but still. That is Final Fantasy 3. Um, never played Final Fantasy 3. Um, and they were selling this for like, I was like 15. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? The, the actual picture was the UK cover. And when it arrived, it's the American. And I'm just like, okay. But yeah, there's the back. Um, everything's there, the booklet and everything, so... It's all good. And in the end, as I said, the DS is backwards compatible, so I can play it without having to worry. Um, as I said, never played 3, so... Yeah. See what it's like. Um, let's move on to the... Mega Drive games. There's two of them. Um, first we have... Revenge of Shinobi. I had this way back in the day. I had a lot of Mega Drive games and a lot of 64 games when I was a kid. But when you need money, they gotta go for what you want. So, yeah, there's a lot of good fucking games I got rid of back in the day, which I'm pissed that I did. Um, there's the back. I've played this, obviously. I've completed it. Um, I don't think it's as good as some people have made it out to be, but it is good nonetheless. And... It's a must-have for any Mega Drive slash Genesis owner. So yeah, that was 20 bucks. Really good, considering the booklet and all there. So happy about that. Uh, and the other Mega Drive game I got was one of the best games on the system. That is Golden Axe 2. Um, 
when I saw it sitting there, I was like, holy shit, how much is this going to be? Only cost 30 bucks, so pretty happy about that. Uh, everything's there. Um, yeah, I love the Golden Axe games. My, fav my personal favourite is actually the first one, so yeah. Not to say the others aren't as good, but it's just I think the first one's better. But yeah, so Golden Axe 2, so you can see that there. Absolutely love it. I love the artwork. It should have been a poster like that one as well, but yeah. it's a shame. So finally rebuilding that Mega Drive collection, and there's some games I want that aren't fucking cheap for it either. But anyhow, moving on, let's get to the PSP games. I have a few. First off, I have Everybody's Golf. <sighs> um, I bought it just to have and not a lover of golf so yeah i can't remember if it's this or the ps2 one that has kratos in it the old kratos not the gay one um in it so it could have been the ps2 one i'm not too sure but uh yeah didn't pay much only paid seven dollars so that's pretty good uh moving on i picked up Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. Uh, I believe this is the Game of the Year edition of the third game. I, I could be wrong. Yeah. No, here's the definitive. I think, yeah, because I'm sure the PS3 and 360 has the dub version as well. So I believe this is the Game of the Year edition. Um, I saw it and I thought, why not? I'm not really a lover of Midnight Club. It does do some th uh, things good, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not a lover of the series. Um... Yeah, I mean, if it's anything like 3, it's a good game nonetheless, but as I said, I'm not a lover of this series, um, so I paid 7 bucks for this as well. Yeah, can't complain. Moving on, we have a EA collection, which I didn't know existed, so I had to pick it up. That is the EA Replay, which looks awfully familiar to the Orange Box collection in terms of its... Uh, cover but it comes with on the back it's easier to read the back than it is the front because it comes with 14 games wing commander wing commander secret missions so you don't get the other wing commanders just the first game uh mutant league football desert strike and jungle strike which is the reason i bought this by the way uh yeah no three so urban strike i think the third one was called so uh yeah budokan Bob, Road Rash 1, 2, and 3. It's funny how they're on it, but not Wing Commander 2, 3, and 4. Um, haunt, uh, haunting Starring Poltergeist. The Original Syndicate, which is actually surprising, which I don't know if it's cut or uncut, because the Original Syndicate, by the way, was very violent. Uh, Ultima, The Black Gate, and Virtua Pinball. So, yeah. And it's funny enough, this is done by Redwood... Uh, this is done by Redwood, EA's Redwood division, which are the ones that took over Command & Conquer. So, where the fuck is CNC1 and where's Red Alert 1? Guys, they were on PS1 and they're actually available on PSP and fucking Vita, so, and PS3. So yeah, but as I said, I got this for the Desert Strike and Jungle Strike game. Um, so that's front again, and the back, you can actually see it is that and if above the circles is where it says what they've got but uh paid 20 bucks for this this was quite expensive but yeah what can you do i i don't mind paying it so it means i can play the desert strike and jungle strike game without having to play the mega drive sticking it on that kind of thing so yeah um i think i said that midnight club was seven bucks i can't remember because I'm only just up, but Midnight Club was seven dollars as well as everybody's golf. So moving on, um, we have two PSP games that I've ordered from Japan, and they arrived. And I don't know why one of them was cheap, but I'll get to that in a sec. So we first off we got Valkyrie Chronicles three, the game that we never got, only Japan got. So it's funny how we got four, never got three, but whatever. Um, 
if you're gonna play this so you want to play this just download the English dubbed for uh fan dubbed version it's far easier to play but uh, it's complete I just bought it to have so yeah uh, that cost me $30 and I'm happy because when I was originally gonna get it it was 50 so it is starting to drop a little bit so if you do want the game maybe the time is nigh I don't know but yeah and last as I said was another PSP game this is another double dip that is Final Fantasy Type-0 this is the original PSP one um, I think it's one of the best Final Fantasy games ever made uh, yeah I mean and you know what else is strange by the way it's two discs which is fucking strange and it's the only PSP game I've ever seen with two discs um, yeah and the even stranger part is this game only cost me 15 and apparently I was talking to the dude that was selling it because the dude's Japanese he says apparently this game is a dime a dozen it's so easy to find over there so hence why it's so cheap and I'm just like oh, lucky you at least you got it um so if you want this game maybe now would probably be the time to get it while it's so cheap because I think this will be a PSP game that's going to be sought after in the future I bought it because I wanted it and I do love Type Zero but I have the PS4 version to play almost done of oh, fucking next we got some Vita games another Japanese import <laughs> another double dip that is Hatsune Miku Project Diva F for the Vita um, I have the PS3 and PSP version and I just wanted the PS Vita version I'm only missing two games in the series now on the Vita or oh, just in general actually the second one to this and the X game for the Vita which the X game is about 50 bucks and the Excuse me, and the X game's about 50 bucks, and the second game's about 30. But there's the back. I paid 25 for this. I'm pretty happy about that, considering it's mint condition, and it actually has the AR card, which I don't know what the fuck the AR card is supposed to be for. But, uh, yeah. Love the game. I do prefer the second one, but still a good game. Um, next is a Vita game that I did not know existed. It was in a bargain bin, and I just thought, well, why not? It's exclusive to the Vita, so uh, we have a game called Smart Ass. Smart Ass. <laughs> Smart Ass, sorry. Uh, it's a puzzle brain uh, game. Smart Ass. <laughs> Fuck, that was stupid of me. Um, but anyway, as, as you can tell, it's a puzzle game, but it's, uh, it's supposed to be not bad to be honest um there's the back I was in uh, JB Hi-Fi where I bought it and it was sitting in a bargain bin for five dollars and I thought it's a video game it's exclusive I've never seen it before five bucks can't complain bought it don't know what it's like I've not played it so I've heard by reviews on YouTube that it's actually not bad for what it is so hmm five bucks I can't complain so yeah and the last Vita game I got another double dip as I said at the start this has got a lot of double dips in it uh, this was fucking expensive too uh, that is Dragon's Crown the Vita version I finally got my hands on it uh, I think it's one of the best games Sony has ever made well it's not Sony made it but Sony owns the rights to it at the moment uh, it's to me it's one of Atlas's best games is what I meant to say what yeah. Um, I own the PS3 and PS4 version and I own the Vita I have the complete collection of the game um, now you can get the PS I bought the PS3 one ages back for like 40 bucks I bought the PS4 I can't remember how much I paid for that but you can get the PS3 one now for about 15 the PS4 version for about 28 dollars so how much this fucking cost me $50 and I thought to myself this is a very hard game to get on Vita I'm gonna suck it up and buy it I don't care so at least I know it's a good game nonetheless so yeah this is going to be a very sought-after game on the system in the future so I highly recommend 
getting it if you don't mind splashing. Fifty dollars, so that's fucking expensive. <laughs> um, so last we have uh, PS4 games. So up first we have Dragon Quest Builders Two. I've been playing this since I got it. Uh, great game. Uh, a bit repetitive, unfortunately. Still one of the best games of the year. It's just that it's one of those games where you play it and it does the same thing over and over and over. And it just drags on way too much. Almost completed it. I'm about 70% through it. So yeah. Um, still a fucking great game. But as I said, it's very repetitive. Take it in small doses. That's what I would say. Cost me eighty dollars because I bought it brand new and I bought it day one. That's why it's eighty dollars. But yeah, utterly great game. Um, another double dip. <laughs> uh, we have now. There's a reason I double dip for this. It wasn't expensive either. So we have the Legacy Pro Edition of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare's remaster. Now you're probably thinking, what the fuck did I buy that for? I didn't want any of the DLC or any of that shit. Besides, it probably all be used anyway. I bought it for the steel book. There's a reason I bought it for the steel book. The fucking artwork is amazing. There's the front. It has one side Call of Duty Modern Warfare and the other side Infinite Warfare. And if you take the gut side and the disc, that is the artwork inside. That is one of the best steel books I've ever seen. And it goes to show that you just gotta have a little patience and you can pick it up. How much did I pay for it? Ten bucks? <laughs> so, uh, I paid ten bucks for the steel book. It's what I wanted it for because I actually have the games separately. Um, I haven't tried the DLC. I know it's not there, but what is the fucking DLC anyway? No, oh, it's the season pass. The official digital soundtrack. Uh, bonus maps. And five supply drops. Whoop de doo. But uh yeah. Pay ten bucks for that for the steel book. Really happy with that. As I said, a double dip for the steel book. Should have seen my face when I saw it for that price. I was like, no fucking way. Um another another pretty interesting pickup is I finally got Fire Cry five. I got the deluxe edition, which is the uh what is it again? The the map of the city, or the fucking area, the city, uh, and the soundtrack, which unfortunately is not the licensed songs that are in the game, it's the soundtrack of the generic shit that's in the game, but, uh, yeah, so essentially it's like that, got the game and then the other sleeve, but, uh, there's the back, I only paid 20 bucks for this, and the normal game itself is 20 bucks and I saw it sitting there on the, like the shelf and it said 20 bucks for this version I'm like if everything here if every if everything is here sorry I will buy it took it up to the kinder next minute she brings out everything puts it in and I was like eh, everything's there that's fucking good then so yeah finally got my fucking hands on Far Cry 5 uh, will I play it anytime soon maybe I don't know. I've heard it's good though, so yeah. So Far Cry Five cost me twenty bucks for that version anyway. Pretty good. Funny enough, the add-on to this, or not the add-on, but the separate released game, the the fucking one where it's like neon colors with the two chicks as the villains, that's like fifteen bucks brand new. So yeah. Uh, up next we have. I played the original. Haven't played this one. I want to see what it's like. That is. Akiba's Beat. Uh, I enjoyed the first one, which was Akiba's Strip. Um, this one I haven't played, as I said. Uh, this was on Vita as well. But uh, good luck getting the Vita versions. Uh, yeah, it's just a JRPG set in Japan, like the streets of Akibahara. So, yeah. Exactly the same as the first, more or less. Except I think these are different characters and stuff. So, yeah. That was uh, 20 bucks as well. This came from the UK, though, as you can tell by the Peggy sign on it. Um, so, yeah. 
20 bucks, not too bad. Um, up next we have a game that I bought because it was 10 bucks, and I thought, well, fucking why not? Um, so yeah, it is... Just gotta remember the fucking name here. <laughs> uh, you can't see because it's sealed, but... It, the actual name is... A tick letter, so... There's the name. The fucking cover looks stupid. Looks like some generic anime shit. Um, but the back, supposedly... It's a novel game, by the way. Um, you... It's to do with, like... It's an investigation kind of shit, so... Why not? <laughs> It's fucking... Why not? I mean, as I said, 10 bucks. Complain for a fucking sealed PS4 game for 10 bucks. Of a Japanese... Novel game. In English, by the way, of course. Yeah. There's the back. So. Yeah. 10 bucks. Why not? Fortunately, the disc is rattling around in there because fucking someone doesn't know how to put the disc in the proper uh, thing properly. Um, oh yes, that's right. I forgot I bought this. <laughs> um, so we have Left Alive, the game that people ripped into, and would have been the worst game of the year if it hadn't have been for Anthem and Wolfenstein. So I think they just dodged the fucking bullet. Um, this is supposed to be Metal Gear Solid, mixed with mechs, if I'm not mistaken. Mixed, fuck, Metal Gear Solid has mechs. Uh, mixed with, like, mechs from the Frontline series. I think this is the Frontline series in general. I can't see. I'm sure it was the Frontline series, if I remember correctly. But, uh, I said to Devil in a chat one day, do you recognize that cover? And he goes, he goes, I don't recognize the game, but he goes, that artwork's Metal Gear Solid. It's me, because it's done by the dude that did Metal Gear Solid, the music, uh, the artwork. There's the back, which it's fucking, oh my god, that light. Um, yeah, sorry about that, but the fucking light. Um, I've not played it, it's, I've heard really bad things, mind you, but. Oh well, I paid 25 bucks for it, so. I'm, I'm willing to play a game. I don't care. As long as it's not woke. <laughs> and this obviously isn't woke, so yeah. Down to the last two. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, anyway, I finally picked up Dead or Alive 6 with, like, the stupid fucking sticker on the thing that pissed me off. Because you can see that, like, you can see that a belter. But uh, I bought it because I wanted the steel book. And the game, of course, but, yeah. So you have Ryu and the other dude, forgot his fucking name. He's generic, who gives a shit. Uh, and you get artwork, which is fucking terrible. Like, coming from what we just saw with Call of Duty and seeing this, it's terrible. That's the inside artwork. Um, it's got very little content. It's... DLC is fucked. Like, it's some of the prices for that shit is ridiculous. The combat, on the other hand, though, is the best I've seen in the series. I honestly stand by that. I think it's fucking phenomenal in terms of combat-wise, so... Yeah. There's that. <laughs> um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Well, enjoyed what I played of it, should I say, because I didn't play the whole thing through and through, but there's the back. Um, this did cost me 60 bucks, but, uh, I keep forgetting this was this year, by the way, but a lot of people didn't think that, they thought it was last year, because I did. Came at the start of the year, more or less, but, uh, yeah, 60 bucks, pretty good. And finally, we have a game that I played, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's shit. <laughs> that is Naruto is it Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker that's the actual name by the way it's a fucking stupid name but uh there's the cover 
it's an MMO trying to be, you can play it by yourself, by the way, but it's trying to be very similar to Dragon Ball Xenoverse. That's what they're trying to be. Said Naruto. There's the back. The game is shit. Hit the combat. Hit the missions. Hate the levels. Uh, I like the hub world, the way it looks. I just don't like the hub world itself. It's a mess of a game. Uh, I did buy it for pretty cheap, but it's still a mess of a game. So, it's a shame too, because they could have done, it had potential, but yeah. So, that cost me 25 bucks. So, yeah. That shit. <laughs> um, but I wanted to check what it was like, at least. Because I, as I said, I do check the games to see what they're like. I don't judge a game by its looks unless it's woke but yeah and that is everything um bit of a weird pickup this month in my opinion but if I was to choose the best pickup mm. in all honesty I would probably have to say probably Dragon's Crown on the Vita <laughs> At least I think it is anyway, but let us know what you think is the best pickup of the month. I I honestly think it wasn't as good as some of the other months I've had recently, but what can you do? Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. This is Private Mittens, and take care. See you later. Bye.